This is Mars, the most explored planet in our solar system. Did you know we've sent rovers to Mars? We've studied its landscape, collected data, and analyzed samples. Mars is the fourth planet from the sun and the second smallest planet in the solar system. If Earth was the size of a basketball, Mars would be the size of a softball. Mars is also known as the red planet. That's because there's lots of a chemical called iron oxide in its rocks and soil. Iron oxide is better known as rust. Temperatures on Mars are colder than on Earth. Brr. It's further away from the sun than the Earth, and its atmosphere is 100 times thinner, so it traps less heat from the sun. Too bad you can't ski on Mars because it has the highest mountains in our solar system. This is a volcano called Olympus Mons. It's 24 kilometers high. That's three times the height of Mount Everest on Earth. Wow. Mars also has the biggest dust storms in our solar system. Some cover the entire planet and last for months. You can even see them through a telescope on Earth. Do you know Mars has two moons? They are named Phobos and Deimos, and they're shaped like lumpy potatoes. French fries, anyone? A year on Mars is 687 days, nearly twice as long as a year on Earth. Humans haven't traveled to Mars yet. Maybe one day you'll be able to go to Mars. Sign me up. I'm on my way, I'm on my way to outer space. We are space kids. I live on Earth. I look to the sky, so much wonder fills my mind. We are space kids, space kids. Venus. Did you know that planet Earth has a twin? Venus is often called Earth's twin because they're practically the same size. Venus is also the closest planet to the Earth and orbits the sun at a similar distance. Like Earth, Venus also has an atmosphere with clouds and weather. So in some ways, Venus and Earth are like twins. But like most twins, they are also very different. For example, Earth is covered with liquid water, making it a perfect place for life to thrive. On Venus, not so much. Venus does not have liquid water, and life as we know it cannot survive here. No animals, no trees, nothing lives on Venus. It's super hot on Venus because its thick atmosphere traps heat from the sun like a giant blanket, making its surface hotter than the inside of an oven. Hmm. And there are constant thunderstorms here. Imagine thunderstorms all day, every day. Venus is the louder twin for sure. Hmm. Have you ever seen Earth's twin Venus in the sky? Venus is the brightest planet in our night sky because it's the closest planet to Earth and because Venus orbits closer to the sun than Earth. Sometimes you can see it setting just after the sun sets or rising just before sunrise. That's why people sometimes call it the morning star and the evening star. I'm on my way, I'm on my way to outer space. We are space kids. I live on Earth, I look to the sky. So much wonder fills my mind. We are space kids, space kids. Mercury. This is the planet Mercury. It's the closest planet to the sun. It's also the smallest planet in our solar system. Let's take a tour. The surface of Mercury is a lot like our moon, hard and rocky and covered with craters from asteroids hitting it. The weather on Mercury is pretty extreme. During the day, the temperature is super hot, about 425 degrees Celsius. <laughs> At night, it's super cold, about minus 185 degrees Celsius. Brr. A famous astronomer named Galileo 
was the first to observe Mercury by telescope in the early 1600s. There have been two space probes sent to Mercury. The first was Mariner 10 in 1975. It looks like an insect. This is the first close-up picture of Mercury. Next, a space probe called Messenger was sent up to orbit Mercury. Messenger studied the planet for four years before crashing onto the surface in 2015. This is Mercury orbiting around the sun. These pictures were captured by NASA using special telescopes. Can you spot Mercury? Hmm. The sun, Mercury, and the Earth line up occasionally, making these pictures possible. And it's an amazing sight to behold. Don't you think? I'm on my way, I'm on my way to outer space. We are space kids. I live on Earth. I look to the sky. So much wonder fills my mind. We are space kids, space kids. Jupiter. Let's visit the planet Jupiter. You'll find Jupiter next to Mars and Saturn. It's a giant planet. In fact, it's the biggest planet in our solar system. More than 1,300 Earths could fit inside Jupiter. Not only is it big, it's fast. Jupiter takes just 10 hours to spin all the way around on its axis. It's the fastest spinning planet in our solar system. It sure is beautiful. I think Jupiter's clouds look like an oil painting. Or maybe a gemstone. Or a marble. What do they look like to you? Jupiter is a gas giant. This means it doesn't have an actual surface. It's mostly made up of hydrogen and helium, the same ingredients as a star. Jupiter has 79 moons orbiting around it. Wow. It also has four rings. However, they're much fainter than Saturn's. And see those bands and swirls? Those are fast moving clouds and storms circling the planet. The Romans named Jupiter after their god of the sky and of thunder. Do you see that great red spot? That's a spinning storm, like a hurricane on Earth, but much larger. Oh, and lightning strikes on Jupiter are 10 times more powerful than on Earth. Can you imagine that? Yikes. Chances are, if you've looked up at night, you'll have seen Jupiter without even realizing it. See that bright object up there in the sky? That's the big, beautiful, spinning and stormy planet called Jupiter. I'm on my way, I'm on my way to outer space. We are space kids. 